Hi guys, welcome to my channel over here where today I'm so excited because I've been in such a low buy, which I'm so proud of myself. I put myself in a low buy for the last couple months, like kind of a last minute New Year's resolution for the last part of 2023. And if you don't know a low buy, it's just very much not buying as much, right? So if you're not new here, you know, I typically always buy a lot of makeup, especially new stuff. So I've been, I mean, I guess I've been in a low buy for makeup because I've really been testing out a lot of skincare. However, I've been really good and haven't bought a lot. But we had Black Friday, we had Sephora sale, they have another sale going on right now and I just had my birthday. So I got a $100 gift card from the husband because, well, he's amazing. Anyways, and so I will be having those products shipped to me soon. I just placed my order from that gift card and so we'll have that video as well. This is a mix though of some high-end and drugstore. Most of it is drugstore and the high-end is just one brand, but I've never tried anything from the brand besides their makeup brushes. And I've only tried like one makeup brush. I'm just really loyal to my BK Beauty brushes. You guys should know this if you're not new here. Absolutely love BK Beauty, love Lisa. She's so sweet. She does such a good job with her brushes. I'm so in love with them. Um, we do have a few brushes I got for my birthday as well that we're gonna try on this video from Profusion. So I'm excited to give all this stuff a try. Everything will be linked below. We have almost a full face. We have quite a few lip products. So we're gonna put it all on our lips though, in our face. Typically when I have a complexion product, I don't like to use a primer, setting powder, setting sprays. However, we do have a new setting powder. So today we will be trying that out. We'll set the complexion product we have, but then I will go ahead and test all of this out without any help. And then at some point, once I've tried everything long enough and I feel like I have my final thoughts, you'll see it in a speed reviews. Okay, guys. So without further ado, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you smash that subscribe button, become a part of my YouTube family over here where I like to try out a lot of makeup. I like to tell you guys my feelings about makeup. Um, skincare has definitely become, especially K-Beauty, is definitely become one of my top two type of skincare. I've definitely replaced a lot of my American brands and products with K-Beauty and there's others, again, like I said, I'm still trying out. And then I'm trying to incorporate some fashion. Also real quickly, I do wanna apologize. I apologized in a video before this one. We've had a lot going on. Um, <clears throat> one thing is my husband's son had two very major life-threatening surgeries. And then there is some pretty serious stuff um, going on with my youngest that involves her being a victim we report we reported it to the police the lady was arrested and so forth so we have all this court stuff going on so we've just been through a lot lately so i know i've been very inconsistent with my uploads and i do apologize for that i have so much to film for you guys um i know that i had promised a roundup of concealers that i tried a roundup of my skin tints and i do still plan to do those videos my plan was to get them both done like filmed the B-rolls, edited and upload to you guys by the end of the year. That may not happen because I also have other makeup review videos to get to you guys from other makeup that I've purchased since I've been so absent. But please bear with me. I just haven't really felt like filming. I've been really in my head with all of the stuff with my husband's son and then especially with my daughter. It's just, it's been a lot. So I have not wanted to get on here and either try to fake it or just not really enjoy it and not be myself. And I want to give you guys the full authentic me. But I'm feeling a little bit better, although the lady is out of jail, so I have a lot of anxiety every day. But there is a protection order against her and other victims and anyone under 18, thank God. So anyways, I digress. I do apologize. Please bear with me. I will get those videos up and we will get caught up. I'm just trying to really focus on my family right now. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's jump on in to this new makeup review. Okay. So since we have so many lip products, we're going to start out like I always do. I like to put something on my lips to nourish it, make it smooth, shiny and all that to get ready for any lip products I'm wearing for that day. So we're going to start with the one that is described as sheer buildable type of color because all the others seem to have more pigment when I swatched them they did and the description said they did so the first one and by the way I should say this these are not all new to the market they're new to me some of them are new to the market so it's a mix of both and again drugstore and high-end but most of it's drugstore and the first one is the LA girl lip gloss 
in sheer watermelon and these retail for $4.99. I think the packaging is so cute and I also sniffed them and it definitely smells like watermelon. The doe for applicator is very small but very smooth and nice when I did my swatch and it definitely looks sheer so that's why I went ahead and said let's go with this one but that looks really really nice. It's got a slight color but not too bad. It's a hydrating lip oil that is infused with rose hip fruit oil and vitamin E it's supposed to give softer, smoother, and plumper lips. All the shades are sheer except there is a couple sparkle shades and you get five shades. So again, this is sheer watermelon. So let's try this one. Oh, the smell is so delicious too. Ooh, look at that, you guys. You know how much I love myself. Just a nice, glossy, juicy lip. And it feels very, very thin. You know, this past year, all these makeup brands are saying, you know, oh, we're coming out with a lip oil. And then the formula is a lot thicker. I mean, I have liked those too, like the NYX one, the Fat Lip Drip, I think is what they were called. I love that one. I'm actually out of mine and need to pick up another one because I really do like it. I just have a lot of lip oils right now and then these to try. Those were thicker, but I like the more traditional thinner ones as well, although they usually do wear off when they're thinner faster, but that's okay. I don't mind reapplying when it gives such a juicy, beautiful look like that. I mean, look at that. It smells delicious. It looks so nice and nourishing. It feels so smooth as well, even smoothed out my lip lines. So I'm very much impressed. LA Girl has impressed me with a few few products. I try them, not from a lot. We do have a lip liner from them today that I will go ahead and pair with the last lip products that we will put on, like the very last one that will be worn throughout the day. Make sure you check the description box too. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. I will have all these products listed below with links in case you guys want to try them out yourself. And as far as the complexion product, I'll leave a word test to let you know how it wore throughout the day. But loving that. Going in with eyes next. This is definitely not new, but this is huge, like huge. And I got this on sale when also I had a bunch of Black Friday deals going on. It is the Makeup Revolution Maxi Nude Reload Palette. And you know, I'm such a nude lover. It retails for $18, has 45 shades, neutral browns, and some are, some of them are gold and um, shimmers and mattes. So I did do some swatching of a few, but there's still so many to use. There's absolutely no way a person can use all of these. I mean, holy cow, you guys, look at that. Huge. So I don't know if I would use it for travel, but it's big. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this Profusion brush here, and we're probably just gonna go basic today. And I think we will go ahead hmm, and go down in this shade right here. I don't think there's any shade names. Well, I guess there's numbers on the back, but tap off a little bit of the excess. And then I will do one eye, and then we will go ahead and go off camera to do the other eye. I don't want to keep you guys longer than I have to because we do have quite a bit of products here. Okay, that's applying so smooth. Holy cow. There's like no fallout. There's a little bit of kick kickback in the pan, but I don't mind that. Sometimes that's a good thing. It's a very light color, but it matches my skin tone pretty well. So it was actually a pretty good first color to use. Very, very pretty. It's so smooth going on. And although this brush is a little bit stiffer than I typically go for it, it's blending it very nicely. So like I said, we're just gonna go basic, but we'll try a couple colors and see how they work. I wanna see how that color builds up. So we're gonna just apply a little bit more. Okay, yeah, that's buildable very nicely. And like I said, this brush, I like it. I like it so far, a little bit stiffer than I go for, but that's okay. It's blending just fine. As long as it does what it's supposed to do, right? That's what matters. I will say I'm pretty picky now with my brushes because of finding the BK Beauty brushes and then even Anissa Beauty. I haven't tried too many from them. I've tried more from BK Beauty. I feel like she definitely gets people with mature skin and hooded eyes. So I definitely gravitate more towards BK Beauty but I definitely want to try some more Nisa Beauty brushes as well. But that's a very pretty color. It builds up very nicely. There was no fallout, a little bit of kick pan in the, in the pan, but that's okay. It doesn't skip. In shade, we're gonna dip into this br or this color here. It's uh, just a little bit darker. 
I keep thinking there's a mirror with that one. It's the only thing I wish it had was a mirror would be nice. Just like I really do enjoy ColourPop's formulas for their eyeshadows, but my only critique would be they do not have a mirror, even in their bigger pans. You know, I can understand maybe not putting a mirror in your bigger or your smaller palettes, but I feel like a bigger palette, you're paying a little bit more, a mirror would be nice, but that's okay. So this is blending very nicely with that first color as well. It's darkening up just a little, but it's not too bad. I don't want to dip back into it though. I don't like, because of having hooded eyes, I'm someone that I don't like to have too much darkness, even in the outer. I know some people with hooded eyes, they'll go lighter on the inner corner and then the outer corner, they'll go dark and smoky and that's fine. I don't like that look. I don't, like, I don't think I've ever really done a true smoky eye look. I've definitely went with a little bit of darker colors before, but not too dark. And that definitely darkened it up plenty to my liking. So there it is with our second color. And again, it blended well with that first one. No patchiness, no fallout. Corner just a little bit. We're going to dip into this little bit darker shade, but it's more like an orangey darker shade. And we're just going to apply it to that outer corner just a little. And then I'll probably bring it in slightly, but not too much. And I don't want to add too much to it because again, I don't want to make it too dark, but they're all blending very well. Like this is blending very nicely with all the other shades. I haven't had to take a blending brush. I mean, it's all blending nicely. I will take and blend out the edges here in a minute but so far it's blended very, very nicely. I'm very much impressed, especially for the price. So now I'm gonna take my BK Beauty brush here, one of my favorite ones. This one is the 202. It's great for smaller eyes, hooded eyes. The shape is great. I use it to apply, but I also use it to blend out the edges like I'm doing now. And there you guys have it. So very, a little bit darker than I typically go for, but it's very pretty. Okay, we're gonna use this brush and it is sprayed. Um, I'm gonna try a brush first. Sometimes, you know, things work better with a brush. Sometimes they work better with your finger. We're gonna go in with this shade right here. It's like a goldy pinky. It's got a little bit of a pink tone. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in there. We're gonna see how well it will apply with a brush and we'll see about fallout. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. It's actually more silver. It looked like it would be more pinky, but once it's on the lid, it looks more silver, but that's gorgeous. I think this would be a perfect color to use in the holiday season. So perfect timing to get this palette. Um, the brush is applying it okay, but let's try the finger. I have a feeling the finger is gonna apply it even better. I usually go with my finger, but like to do my inner corners, oh yeah. I'll definitely go in with a brush. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And that's definitely applying better with the finger. I really hope this look is coming off on camera as great as it is in person because this palette is so nice. Like I barely have any fallout. I have just a little bit of fallout from that shimmer. Those shades blend is so nicely and that's such a pretty shade. Like I really like that silver there on the eye, perfect for the holiday. All right, I'm gonna hop off camera, get this eye done. Off camera, I applied my Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara, I'm almost out of it, it will be my second buy. I have a lot of mascaras right now, especially smaller ones, so I'm trying not to buy too much. Really good mascara, I really, really like it. And then I just finished up the eyes and then I used that color, the second and third one, on my lower lash line with this brush, and it is a little bit thicker than I typically would use, but it did pretty well on the lower lash line. Didn't make it too thick. I hope everything's coming out just as it looks in person because I'm loving the eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love it. A plus, like, love that palette. Okay, so I took off the LA Lip Oral and we're gonna now put on the Milani. This one is new out there. They obviously have fruit fetish ones from the past, but they came out with other shades, like more nude shades. And I have mine in Honey Fig. The LA Girl one still is on a little. My lips still feel really smooth and 
my lines aren't as noticeable. So I'm really impressed with that. A plus for that as well. But this one <clears throat> retails for $11.99. It has eight shades now. That includes the older shades. It's juicy, non-sticky. It's a tinted, nude type of shade. Custom buildable with fruit extract, vitamin E, and it instantly hydrates and gives you shine. So we're going to apply this one, continue on with makeup. And then we have two others. We have another lip oral high end and then a lip balm drugstore and the lip balm and the line, um, lip liner will apply together. And the lip liner is also drugstore as well. So we'll get this on. And then in a bit, we'll do the other lip oral. Like I said, we have to do it this way. I only have one set of lips, but a lot of lip products. Ooh. Has like a, like a chocolate smell. And I don't like chocolate unless it's white chocolate. And yes, white chocolate is chocolate, you guys. I go through this with a coworker all the time at work. He says it's not chocolate. But we're not going to get into that debate here. But it's a nice smell. It's not too overpowering as well. Very juicy. A lot of times, like, a brown shade like this will be almost streaky. I've had that issue in the past with other brown lip oils, lip glosses type of shades. But I really like it. I do like the color. I think it's like perfect for the winter months. It's definitely a sheer, but we could probably build it up. It's really nice and like thin as well, like the LA Girl. I feel like the LA Girl has a little bit more shine, but this feels smooth as well. It's not sticky. It's not doing that, you know, strainy stuff. I like it so far. We'll keep it on and see how it wears throughout the rest of the video. Of the Revlon Serum Skin Tint. This is new. It has SPF 15. Yes. It retails for $18.99, but right now on Ulta, it's on sale for $13.29. It's skincare infused. It's a light to buildable coverage. It has 16 shades, which is amazing. I have 213, and it's supposed to be a soft satin finish. So... We're going to try to build it up as well to see about that claim. And we're going to go, as always, when I try a complexion product, we will go with putting it on my face like this. And then I'll blend it with a brush. And then we will also, on the other side, blend it with a sponge. I like to try... Oop, I got a piece of hair stuck in there. I like to try to test out any complexion products both ways for you guys. But I will still go over it with a sponge afterwards. That's how I do it in my day-to-day -day life as well. If I'm using a brush, I still will go over it with a sponge to press it in. And that also tells me if the product will be one that sits on the skin or not. Because if I'm going in with my sponge and pressing it into my skin, then clearly, you know, if it presses it in, great. If not, then it clearly is a product that will sit on the skin. And I mean, I have my skincare on. And it's a little more pinky than I usually go for. It definitely is a little off on the shade, but we are in winter. And as it gets colder, it might work. And I can just bring it down the neck, put some down the neck. I, I do that all the time with shades that don't match. But it's blending really nicely. I really like the satin finish. I agree with that. It's definitely a satin finish. We'll definitely see if it's buildable. It's blended in really nicely with the brush as well. This is my Anissa Beauty Pinnacle Foundation Brush. It is a really nice brush. I think it's not sitting on top of the skin, so it's gonna be one of those products that you don't have to go in with a sponge. I just like to do that. I'll still go in with a sponge, like I said, but if you're someone who you don't always do that and you prefer a brush, but you're afraid it's gonna sit on top, it won't. So here is the side with, with the sponge without. It's definitely a lighter coverage. It says it's buildable. So let's do just a little bit of a squeeze. And I've got some redness right here. So we're gonna apply most of it here and then we'll spread it out with the sponge. And we'll see. I'm gonna use the sponge though to spread it out and then press it in to see if it's buildable. Oh yeah, that's buildable. And it's definitely, I feel like my skincare is definitely making it probably a little bit more like wet looking than what it probably is because it's supposed to be a satin finish because I have the Honest Beauty moisturizer on and that's very, very hydrating and very wet looking. But this is really, really pretty. 
like really pretty. But my hair, you guys, my hair keeps sticking to it. We'll see how it dries down as well. We shall see. All right. I would definitely say it's buildable. I was able to build it up where I had some redness. Now we're going in with the same method. I always do this even with like foundations. I do like to spread it with my finger and then I'll go over it and blend it in with whatever, you know, product I'm using. We're gonna use the sponge. We're starting out with the same amount of product as we did before over on the other side. And then we'll see about building it as well. We wanna make it just as even, and I will have to apply some on my neck cause it's a little, like I said, a little bit more pinky than what I typically go for, but that's not bad, it's not bad. I don't usually like my foundation to have pink in it, like a pink undertone or too much of a pink undertone because I already have a lot of redness in my skin. I have rosacea, so. And then let's press it in over here while we have the sponge. And it's pressing into the skin really nicely with the sponge as well. All right. So let's go ahead and just apply a little bit more and in the same spot we did on the other side because, well, you know, I got redness over there. That's where I get most of my redness is on the inner cheeks right here. And let's see here. Oh, yeah, it's building up on this side well, too, even if you use the sponge to start with. So, so far, really nice. This is really pretty. It's definitely a satin finish and it looks really pretty and natural. Like I said, we'll see how it sets down. We will be setting it though, just because I do have that new setting powder to try. And we will also set the under eyes. I don't have a new concealer, so I will be going off camera to do the under eyes. Then we'll come back on and we'll see how this has set. And then we will set the under eyes with the new powder. But under eyes, I use my e.l.f. color corrector and then my Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I have mine in N4. And I mean, look at us. We're so glowy. We look hydrating and juicy, which I love. It's, it's a little tacky still, but it dried down a little. All right, so now on to our other new product. The next three are going to be, well, three of them will be high-end. We have two blushes, so one's a high-end. We'll do that on one cheek. The other one is... Ulta Beauty's brand, we'll do that on the other. I don't know how funny that's gonna look because I don't know if the shades, they look like they could be close to the same, but this is what this video is all about, right? So we have three that are high-end and one that's mediocre mid-range between high-end and drugstore, although it's more of a drugstore price point. And the powder is Sigma Beauty. Like I said, tried one of their brushes. I have thought about trying more, but again, like I said, I'm just so loyal to BK Beauty. It makes me feel like I'm cheating on them. But but they have their Black Friday sale and I've heard great things about the powder and I wanted to try it. So I got it in Vanilla Beam. And I don't think this one, their blush is on sale right now, which is interesting, but not everything else is interesting. <laughs> All right, so it does. It retails for $32, my bad. It is the Soft Focus Setting Powder. Again, Vanilla Bean, it has four shades. It's supposed to be lightweight. It's a loose setting powder, silky smooth. It's supposed to blur out fine lines, wrinkles, and minimize your pores. And when I opened this and swatched it on the back of my hand, you guys, it felt so smooth. Like, I was very impressed with how smooth it was. And I, talking about impressed, our lip oil from Milani off camera. I did some drinking in my water and it still is on there pretty nicely. Obviously it's faded a little, but not too bad. It still looks really good. We will go ahead and apply the other one after we get the blush bronzer and our face set. All right, so I'm gonna use my puff that I got off of Timu. It was off of Timu. And I put a little bit in the lid here and here's what it looks like. It's so thin filling. So we're gonna set the face. I am just gonna set the outer portion. And I always go like this with my powders and get it all in to my puff because you don't want it to be pretty much streaky when you put it on your face. And so I blend it in and press it in so it's all nice and smooth. And pretty much when I don't really see much of my powder is when I think we're good to go. It's all the way into the powder. So we're gonna go ahead we're not gonna set the entire face, but we're gonna set where we're gonna put our blush and bronzer. I don't want the powders to stick 
to our face. And do you guys see that blurring effect? Holy cow. You guys know my Mikolay is my Holy Grail powder. I searched and searched forever for my Holy Grail powder and I found it. But look at that. So here we are without any powder and with powder. What I'm liking about it, not only the fact is it's so smooth and it's so silky too for sure. And it definitely just smoothed over and it blurred my face. Like that's really nice and blurred. But I still have the luminosity from the Revlon serum tint coming through. So I didn't make it a full matte and I like that because I don't like to have a full matte face. I'm not an all matte type of girl. When that does seem to happen, it happens every once in a while where all of a sudden my face is like flat matte. I don't like that. I will go in with my hourglass palette. Which one did I get? The jellyfish. And I will take the two setting powder, finishing powders, I guess is what they're called. And I will go back over and it will bring back life to my face. So I do have that option if I didn't have this. But this, I mean, that's just, that's a finishing powder. This is a setting powder and it is totally blurring as well. It's blurring, it's smoothing, but it's also keeping that beautiful luminosity. Oh my gosh, I like and you know the true test for me because of my age by the way i'm now 38 since i just had her birthday as of yesterday so i mean not from when you guys are seeing this but from when i'm filming it today is december 5th and i'm gonna go ahead i like to keep my inner corner well usually I like to keep the outer corner too luminous and set the inner portion but i'll set the outer portion so I'm really, really happy that I still have the luminosity and it's still so blurring. But look at that, you guys. That's so beautiful. Whew. I'm impressed. I think it's definitely worth the price. And normally, by the way, if I wasn't on camera, I would have done my blush and bronzer first, any highlighter. And then I would have went in with my concealer because that will clean up any mess that I make with my blush but because of the purpose of the video and I was already off camera finishing up the complexion, putting it on the forehead and the neck, I went ahead and just did the concealer, but beautiful on the face. Let's see how it sets my under eyes because I'm 38, like I said, <laughs> I definitely don't have young skin anymore. I have to work at it with all the skincare I do and I have to be careful how much powder I put under my eyes because I have dry skin as well. Like not just under my eyes, but dry skin in general. And that smooth and blurred that has powder, no powder. You guys, ooh, this may become very close to my Mikole. I actually need to do like a side by side. I need to test them out side by side because this is beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go in with our bronzer and it's from Sigma Beauty as well. It is their matte bronzer. I have it in the shade medium. Now, it's weird because their blush is on sale but the bronzer and powder isn't, so I don't know. But the bronzer is 34, it has four shades. It's matte, it's supposed to be buildable, lawn wearing and smooth. Now, I love that it has a mirror. I love their packaging and I love the magnet. Like I'm a sucker for packaging. When I swatched it, it definitely felt nice and smooth as well. It definitely has some kickback, but I'm not mad at it. And even though I set our face, I don't like to do the sweeping motions. So I'm just applying it onto the face and I'm using, do these have any names on them? The Profusion brush that I got yesterday no names but it's a pretty much a big powder brush and you guys do you see that how natural looking that looks I you know I always like while I'm doing these videos to me it looks like everything's applying the way that it is in person but sometimes when I look back I'm like oh, I didn't it didn't look the same I'm telling you this complexion is snatched right now like this bronzer I like to go light-handed when I'm trying a new product to start out with because I don't know, especially with a blush, how it's going to apply. But we're going to apply a little bit more. We're going to test the buildable claims. But that's so natural and it's smooth too. I feel like it's just as good of a smoothing powder formula as the setting powder. Like it's so natural looking. I mean, let me look straight ahead. Just see how natural that looks. It's smooth. It's silky. 
it's definitely buildable and I think medium is like a great shade. So if you're close to my shade color, I would go with medium. I teetered between light and medium and I went ahead and went with medium mainly because I'm in the winter <laughs> and I'm definitely a little bit lighter. Beautiful. The other lip oil and then we're going to do the two blushes and then we will do the lip balm and lip liner then we'll be done. And it is Sigma's Renew Lip Oil. Retails for 23, has four shades. I have mine in tint, which is a neutral nude. It's supposed to be like a nourishment of a balm, but has the shine of a gloss. It's supposed to be smooth, not sticky, high shine color, and gives hydration. And I love the packaging. And when I swatched it, I noticed the doe foot, like it looks the same, right? But it's interesting because I swatched it on the back of my hand. It definitely has some good pigment as well, at least on the back of my hand when I received it. But you, can you guys see that? Like it's got this dip in there and it's interesting. It's interesting. Let's see how it applies on the lips. Oh yeah, you can feel that dip. But I feel like that helps it. And holy shine. You know what, you guys? It's going to be really hard for me to determine which lip product I like the most in this video. I don't think I'm going to be able to tell you guys in this video which one I like the most. doesn't really have a smell. It's definitely, mm, it's smoothing. It's reminding me a lot. It's a mix, I feel, between the Milani and the LA Girl. It's shiny like the Milani and smoothing like the, or sorry, shiny like the LA Girl and smoothing like the Milani. I'm in love with this. So our last two cheek products, we have Ulta Beauty's Mineral Blush and Snapdragon and then Sigma Blush and Berry Love. And when I swatched them, they felt so similar, so, so close, like smooth, silky, the shades look close, like so close, you guys. So hopefully they look the same on the face. We're going to go ahead and apply, let's do Ulta Beauty on this side, Milani on that side. That definitely has some kickback, but that's okay. And we're using this Makeup Revolution brush. That I got yesterday. Ooh, it's very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. But that blended so smoothly. You guys, like, I don't know what to do. I normally don't have a video where I'm just in love with everything. But so far, everything is so pretty. It's been working so well. I, I don't know what to say. Like, this is a great blush. Let me give you some deets on it though. It only retails for $12, so it's definitely cheaper than Sigma's. Um, the shade Snapdragon, it has eight shades. It's a satin finish, smooth, soft, luminous, and it's buildable. I definitely see it as a luminous, satin, silky type of finish. I mean, look at that. That's so pretty. So pretty. I could definitely see it buildable where we put plenty on. So the fact that I probably went in with a little bit more than I should have tells me it's buildable but you guys what is up with this video like I said typically like I have like maybe one or two so far we do I mean we have two more products after this Sigma blush so maybe there will be a dud but so far it's not a dud like I am obsessed with this makeup look so now we have the Sigma blush and I just cleaned off this brush so we don't have to do another one it's fine um it retails for 35 but it's on sale right now on Sigma uh website which is where I got these because of the black Friday deal for $17.50, which is what I think I paid for, for the bronzer and the blush <clears throat> on Black Friday, and then maybe a little bit cheaper on the powder. Everything was, I think, like 30% off, but I think it came to $17.50 for the bronzer and blush. So I don't know if they're phasing this out or what they're doing. I hope not because I'm excited to give it a try now because I love that. That could be a dupe for this. We shall see. Um, it's supposed to be smooth, formulated for longer wear, and it has six shades, and it's supposed to be a pink matte. So we're going to go in on this side. I'm going to go in a little bit less than what I did over here, just because I think I did maybe, maybe put a little bit too much. Ooh. You guys, I don't know what Sigma is doing with their powder formulas, blush, bronzer, and setting powder. But that looks so natural and smooth, just like the setting powder and the bronzer. Holy cow, I'm obsessed. Like, that's gorgeous. 
I will say it's a little bit lighter than this one. So I don't know if it's because I did use a little bit, a little bit less because I went a little ham. The first time around, typically I do really well. I usually don't go heavy handed with blush, but, and I said that too, and then I go heavy handed. I love that. That's so pretty. I will say the claims on everything is definitely smooth. We'll see um, how long it wears, but it's really pretty. I would definitely say it's buildable. I did not put very much on and it's got some very nice color payoff. The lip oil is so beautiful. You guys, you guys, you guys, I'm really happy. Now we have LA Girls Shockwave Lip Liners. Never tried them, but I've heard great things. And they only retail for $4.99. I have mine in gingerbread. It's supposed to have a full coverage pigment for eight hours. And there's 11 shades. So it's not retractable either, I don't think. No, it's sharpable. So let's lip line our lips or line our lips. And then we have a lip balm. So let's do this. Ooh, I like this shade. It's like a light brown neutral. Oh. And this is why I don't like to talk while lining the lips, mainly because I have a hard time. It is so creamy. You look at that shade, you guys. All right, so now we have Honest Beauty's Lip Balm. It has uh, seven shades, it's supposed to be sheer buildable coverage. So it retails for $10 and I have mine in Litchi Fruit. So I feel like the reason why I chose this for my last product is I felt like when I swatched this color, it matched that pretty well, the lip liner. Although I feel like it's a little bit lighter on my lips than when I swatched on the back of my hand, or sorry, darker on my lips. But I really like that lip liner. All right, let's go in with this. Ooh. Yeah, the lip line is a little bit darker, but this feels so creamy as well and very hydrating. It's definitely more of a sheer color. I would feel like out of the colored lip oils, not speaking on the LA Girl one, because that definitely was sheer, but the Sigma and the Milani one, this is definitely more of a sheer color than those lip oils. Those had more color payoff. But I like, this feels so nice and hydrating. It's smoothing on the lips as well. I would say not as much as the Sigma or Milani lip oil, but it is smoothing. It doesn't feel drying. We'll see how long it lasts throughout the day. That was my last lip product. So that's the last one I'm going to wear. And I'll go ahead and update you guys in the description box on how that wore as well as the serum skin tint. But I do like it. It feels nice and hydrating. It looks really nice. It paired so well with that lip liner. There's definitely um, some other shades I want to try out now, that lip liner, because I'm very much impressed. The only thing about really creamy ones like the LA Girl one there is they do usually wear off pretty quickly. We'll see. Like I said, all this stuff, I will let you guys know once I try it out more, how I finally, you know, feel about it, my final thoughts. Um, in a speed reviews, but I am loving the look we came up with you guys. What do you think? Comment below. Let me know what you've tried. If you've tried any of this stuff, I'm sure you have. I'm like the only one on the planet that's never tried Sigma Beauty makeup. And let me know if you have what you like and what you don't like and your opinions on this look. I hope, like I said, it's coming off on camera as good as it is in person because our face is so smooth and blurred and Real fast, I'm gonna go over just real quickly my final thoughts on everything. I love this palette. I can't wait to play around with more shades in it. I love the size, love the price point. It has so many like beautiful different type of neutrals like lights, mediums, golds, browns. I love that. The shimmers are gorgeous. I love the look we got today. I love it. Then we have the Sigma Beauty Powder. You guys, I never thought I would find something close to my Ami Cole. I'm gonna try it next to that. I'm gonna try it out more, but this might might take the spot of number one, which is so weird to say because I never thought I'd find something better than Ami Cole. Or it just might tie with number one or be number two. We shall see. Then we have the serum skin tint. So far, so good. Um, the only thing I will say is the size. I thought it would be bigger, but a little does go a long way and it just gives this beautiful natural radiance look. It did dry down a little, but I would still recommend maybe setting where you're gonna put your powders 
but so far so good check the description box for an updated wear time we have sigma bronzer i know it's just a powder bronzer but it's so smooth and silky and very thin and lightweight and it just looks so beautiful and natural and the shade is great if you are my skin tone and you don't like a powder bronzer that's too red or too orange Go for the medium one because I love the shade. That's one thing I'm loving about it right now is it does not have too much red or too much orange. It's so natural looking. And then we have these two blushes. It's the same for this. This is such a beautiful shade. Great for the winter. And this is so beautiful too. And it's great for winter as well. I definitely want to do some more side by sides and let you guys know if I think that this could be an alternative or even a dupe for the Sigma one. I feel like shade wise, they're very, very close. And I feel like they look almost the same. They're both so smoothy and silky. It's like girl lip liner. I'm loving it. I definitely want to pick up other shades and test those out as well. But so far, I'm really loving the shade and how creamy it is. It's nice and it's only $4.99. You can't beat that, right? And then we have these guys. I cannot pick a favorite. I like each one for different reasons. These two definitely did some nice some nice and smoothing effects on my lips. They are so like just juicy and plumping and beautiful on the lips. And then we have this that's like very sheer, but has a nice little tint of color and it's very natural looking. And I do love that. And I'm loving it paired with the ginger or gingerbread. Is that the shade I got? The LA girl. Yes. Lip liner and gingerbread. I feel like those two paired together is like chef's kiss, holy grail lip combo. And then we have the LA Girl one that I just feel like it definitely plumped my lips a little. I wouldn't say it did a lot of plumping. It didn't burn or anything, but I loved the most out of it is the shine it gave. It has that beautiful shine to it. I'm obsessed. That is it. I would have to say out of everything, my favorites right now, number one would probably be the setting powder. And the number two would be all the lip products, including the lip liner. But it's hard. This was such a good video. Normally I have some duds, but so far I'm loving it all. It all worked out so well. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Check the description box. I'll have the wear time for the lip liner just because it is so creamy. I'll let you guys know how it wore and the serum tint. And again, I'll have all these in a speed reviews video at some point when I've tried them enough. I love you guys so much for watching. I'll also have everything linked and listed below as well as social media. Follow me over there. I haven't been as active on there as well, but I'm going to try once everything gets settled down more here to get more active on there. Thank you all for watching. I love you and I'll see you here very soon. Bye.